So welcome back. So this is the last part of uh, the Python lecture. This is the concluding bit. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss pieces here and there that we uh, were left with. Uh, so list comprehension, it is essentially a single line of code that condenses many lines of for loop. Python is not complete without list comprehension. It is easier to understand by example. Please pause and read many times until you understand how a traditional for loop and list comprehensions same. So uh, we are going to take some examples and see this. So traditional for loop is uh, written in this manner, right? Um, in comprehension, what we are doing is we are reducing the lines of code. That is all that it is right so this is how I have written four lines of code and then in comprehension I have just made it into two lines all that you have to understand similarly in this uh, again one two three four five lines and here it's just two lines so just comprehending and making it into a smaller bit then we are coming into opening and closing a file important please uh, pay attention a file can be opened in python in read write read plus write and append both a mode is nothing but how you want to operate on the file that you are going to open do you want to just content uh, just read the content read mode which is used as r do you want to write to the file which means that you want to erase the previous one then you use the write mode which is used as w do you want to read and write both then you use r plus do you want to keep existing content and add to the end we use the append mode which is a once you have decided on mode uh, you also need to ha give a handle to the open file handle is nothing but a name reference to the open file this needed so that it can be used later in the program if you don't close the file there can be severe consequences so it is important to close the file once the job related to file are over I'm going to teach you a syntax that will close the file automatically once the job is over please pay attention let us first write a number and a square in the range of 10 to a file and save it as my first written file dot txt hopefully you can see that we need to use the write code which is w so this is how we are going to go ahead about writing the code please have a look on the screen now um, open the file my first written file dot txt and confirm that everything was written now we will open the file in read mode and read its content and print to the screen so this is how you go about doing it simple now let's open the file in the append mode and increase the line from 10 to 20 so this is how you go about writing the code Check the file and make sure that not only previous entries are retained but also the new entries are added to the end of the line. Uh, coming uh, to some string methods, suppose you have a long sentence where every word is separated by a space and suppose you want to get every word and save them in a list is very easy. How do we go about doing it? We have the sentence we have India became independent in 1947 from British rule list of words sentence the split it will split the word um, India comma became comma so on and so forth now how do you join them right one is a split and one is a join so whatever the sentence is dot join list of word and then it becomes India became independent in, in 1947 from the British rule so uh, that's all about python uh, in uh, 20 hours that we had promised i hope you all enjoyed the class and you have taken as much uh, information that uh, you needed to learn python i have tried to use the very basic to the most advanced level of programming and we are going to provide you with all the details about the code so that you can practice during uh, you know times when you have some time off so i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it thoroughly giving the lectures thank you take care bye